To get all notifications, click here, click here, and click here. Enjoy! Hello everyone! You might be doing engineering but not interested in programming language? Is your background not related to computer engineering or IT industry? And do you want to learn programming language? Then what's the best way? Class is right? But I will tell you alternate way to learn programming language without classes. You require laptop or computer and internet. So let's start. First take small algorithm or procedure which you think is easy. What I will take here is bubble sort. Algorithm for reference. What bubble sort does is as the name suggests. It sorts numbers in ascending orders while comparing adjacent numbers. So how to implement using code? These are the steps. What you will do is first start with one small step of that algorithm or procedure. Second, read first step Search for that step on internet. Mm -hmm. Obviously, for implementation purpose. Third one is write code about it. And the fourth, repeat step 1, 2 and 3 until you complete your algorithm or procedure. So, these are the four main steps. Now, let's see how we do it using above procedure. So, first I will search on bubble sort in internet and try to get information. Okay, I will search on bubble sort algorithm, open 2-3 links and read from various sites. How it performs and how it works. Mm. So now I understood how it works. You can take time to learn the concept. Here I have written down procedure to implement algorithm. This is my algorithm of bubble shot. Here it takes list as input and numbers are 9, 16, 5, 2. Not in sorted order. Here algorithm takes list which is not empty and gives value in ascending order. It takes two for loop for i equal to zero to count off list. This loop runs four times. Second loop runs three times as it starts from 0 to minus 1 and compares first number with second number which one is bigger if true then swaps it we will do it repeatedly now i have decided to do programming in python language but don't know how to implement list in python I will search on net that how to put numbers in list in Python. Okay, this is my list. This is how I implement my list. Now where to write programming? Just quick search which editor is good for Python. I will go with PyCharm community editor. And before you install it, you require to install Python in your system. I have already created project. Now let's create file. Now I will create my list. List is equal to 9, 16, 5, 2. This is my number. Now, second steps of my algorithm says to run a loop. 
I will quick search on net regarding for loop how to implement loop in Python I'll get lots of results open two three results so this is a loop for x in range 3 it runs three times let's put code in editor for i in range 4 here we need to take care of an indentation number now second loop for j in range 4 minus 1 it runs three times to improvise algorithm we can take length of and list how to take list let's search on net yeah this is the way keep searching on that until unless you get answer so i will search take length of a list in python So, answer is alien list. Just write alien list, length of list. We will assign it to one variable. If you don't know how assignment works, again search on net. So this is the way you assign some values to variable. Now we will put variable n here and as per the algorithm put n minus 1 in second for loop. Now step is to compare it. Now I will write directly if condition I assume you are searching on net regarding this. If condition is true, we will swap it. Search on net how to swap in Python. Lot of help available. Hmm. Okay, we got it. X comma Y is equal to Y comma X. Now write swapping code because when value is greater than other value, we will swap it. At least I will print my list. Keep searching on net un until unless you get the answer. This is the best way to for starters. Okay, we got the answer. See list is now sorted. Now let's see how this algorithm works in first pass. Same code. First for loop value of i is 0 and j is 0. Comparing first two values because we have provided j as argument and list. So first j it will take it as a 9 and here it will take 16. Here 9 is already greater than 16 so we will not perform swapping. In second pass, it increments j 
because we are in i is equal to 0 loop only. Here j is 1. It will take value 16. Let me tell you in python list value starts from 0. So this one is 0, this one is 1, this one is 2 and this one is 3. Here it compares 16 is 5 and 16 is greater than 5. We will swap it with 5 and updated list will be like this. In J will be 2. Now it will compare 16 with 2 and swaps 16 with 2 and updated list will be like this. So it will be going on until we get the result. Here J will run 3 times only because we have give 9 and minus 1 in second loop. Now again it compares first number with second number and swaps. Updated list will be like this. Here also J is equal to 1. So now value of J is 2 and third value in list compares 9 with 2. 9 is bigger than 2, we will swap it. So subsequent passes and we will have result. The result is 25916. This is how you learn programming. Again, see the steps. Write down your opinion in comment section. Thank you. Do comment what's your opinion about my idea. If you have any better opinion, then do let me know. If you are continuously liking my informative video, then subscribe my channel will be the good option for you. If you like this information, then hit a like. Share with people who are keen to get knowledge. Comment your thoughts down there. Thank you.